Okay, we are um, finishing up lesson five's lecture on driving maneuvers. And uh, we're finishing it up after going over three point turns, two point turns, right turns, left turns, U turns, and parallel parking. And now we're getting into some basic parking maneuvers uh, that we'll encounter, for example, at the shopping center. So basically, we're looking at two different types of parking angles at a, at a supermarket, for example. Uh, there's perpendicular parking, and there's angle parking. Now, there is a bit of a difference. So perpendicular, par well, let's go with angle parking. Angle parking is very nice for us. We don't have to do much with the car other than point uh, the car in the right direction. Um, let me go ahead and read some of the stuff for us, and hopefully we're going to get to angle parking first, but it doesn't look like it. Okay, so perpendicular parking is a little more challenging than angle parking. Uh, so, in fact, let me bring angle parking up here to – I wonder if I can do that right now. I cannot. Wow, well, bummer. Okay. Well, I'm going to go to angle parking first then. So angle parking is very simple. You locate the space. It's, you look around. You can do smog, uh, which is signal. You're, you are going to signal for sure. Your car is already going slowly. You put your indicator on. Uh, you are always monitoring the traffic behind you with your rear view mirror anyway, right? Uh, you, you should be looking all over the parking lot for pedestrians, especially little children. When you see your angle parking, so long as you're not right next to the cars, and we don't want you to ever be driving right next to the cars when you're in a parking lot, you should be as close as you possibly can to the middle of the, of the lane, okay? And some of these lanes and parking lots are only one way so that you can really get over, okay? So if you are parking to the right, and that's, a, and that's what I'm thinking in this case, uh, you want to be as far as you possibly safely can be to the left, okay? So I recommend being in the B position if it's like a two-lane uh, um, two lane, lane in, in the parking area, okay? Of course, you got to look out for oncoming traffic, but we want to be as close to the center as possible. You have your indicator on. You've identified your spot. Once your front wheels have gone parallel with the front or the back wheel, the, the, the left back wheel of the parked car, I'm going to call it target car number one, slowly, remember, slow car and fast hands, slowly with the car but fast with your hands you're going to use your hands to do an hand over hand turn to the right and you're going to be managing your speed by having your foot depressed on the brake you're going to bring the car into that diagonal angle uh, uh, parking spot it's a wonderful little spot it's easy to do these are some of the easiest uh, parking spots we'll ever, we'll ever be able to get into. And really, the only thing we want to do is we want to aim for the center of it and uh, and not get too close to one, one car or the other, okay? You put the car in park, and you get out, right? Now, when you're backing out, this is much more challenging now. Backing out, your head, you are like a little owl, right? You're looking around 360 degrees, making sure there's nobody in your way. Your hand is going to be on the, uh, on the back of the passenger's chair on a seat. You're going to be looking out the back. Your foot is going to go off of the brake. Your car is going to start moving backwards. 
And you're going to be looking constantly for pedestrians walking in front of your path. And it happens. And we have to stop and we have to be patient when it does. And they have the right of way. Once you're done with that, then you can continue out of the parking lot. Remember, you're going to have to turn your wheel at the end. Once your front wheels have cleared the back wheels of the two target vehicles on either side of your car, then you can crank your wheel over and, uh, and get completely out of the parking space. Okay. Once you are completely out in parallel with the, the lane, <laughs> you can put your car back into drive. You have to stop it, put it into drive, look around again, and start going forward by releasing the brake and moving your wheel to its, to, until it's centered again in your center, in your center of your lane. Okay, that was angle parking. Perpendicular parking is very similar to that. One difference is that it's more, it's a sharper turn to enter into that space. Okay. With that in mind, the farther that we are from the space, when we start our turn, the easier it's going to be. Also, the slower our car is, the easier it's going to be as well. Okay. So again, we're going to, we're going to be going down the lane. We're going to see up ahead the space that we want. We're going to we're going to take our foot off the accelerator. It's usually not on the accelerator anyway in a parking lot. Use your indicator. Bring your car down to speed. Okay. Use your smog. Signal mirrors. Observe, you know, like head check for all pedestrians. And then you can proceed forward. Okay. Remember, we are going to be in the A or the B position here. We're going to be at least in the middle of the lane when we're going to start our turn okay if you are in the center of the lane or if you are in the c position you do not try to make this turn do not try to park in a perpendicular spot with a car right next to you on the right you are going to damage your car okay you must be in the center you must be to the left of the center of the lane in order to do this and i'm talking about uh parking on the right hand side Okay. If you're parking on the left-hand side, stay as far, as far as you can from that side when you before you make your turn. Okay. Uh, parking to the left is easy. Parking to the right requires a bit of knowledge and experience. And that's what we're focused on here is parking to the right. <laughs> so now that you are in the middle of the lane, you found your spot, your indicator's on, you've come to a full stop, you've looked around for, for pedestrians. Once your wheel, once your front wheels have, in fact, once your front bumper has cleared the right driver's side back wheel of target car number one on the right-hand side, you want to crank hand over hands to the right, so that you have a tight, tight turn and go into your spot, okay? You may have to fix it up as you go, and that's fine. You may have to do a bit of steering as you go into the parking spot, and that's fine too. The slower you go, the easier it's going to be, able to, you're, it's going to be for you to fix up any steering that you need to do. Aim for the center. Remember, you're going to have to be far enough away from each target car so that you can get out and people can get into their cars, right? <coughs> and that's it. <clears throat> Bring your car to a full stop, put on the, put it in park, and then take off the keys and you can go. When you're backing out, remember, again, you are looking all over and you've looked before you even got, you've gotten into your car, you've made a good look around your car making sure there's no little kids uh, running around in the parking lot, okay? No little animals, um, no stuff on the ground uh, because you have blind spots and uh, it's extremely, you're extremely vulnerable in the parking lot to, to, you know, with, with little things that you can run over that you just can't see because they're in your lower blind spots, okay? 
Once you've done that and you've looked, your hands over, uh, your your right hand is on the passenger's chair, right on their seat, behind their seat. Your left hand is on the top of the steering wheel, and you are looking back behind you, looking for people coming into your path of travel. Your right foot is on to press on the brake, and you are releasing it gently so that you can gently bring the car back out of the parking spot. Once your right wheels and or bumper have cleared the bumper of the left car on your left, this is the one that you got to be careful about, then you can crank your wheel to the right. Okay, do not crank it until you've cleared those wheels and bumper because otherwise you're going to quote unquote kiss that car next to you. Okay, and that's going to cause damage to your car and to theirs as well. So you do that, do it very gently under a lot of controlled speed. Once you have cranked the wheel and cleared, once you've cleared the bumper and cranked the wheel and you've gone back. Uh, until you are parallel in the lane, then you can stop your car, put it into drive, release the brake, turn the wheel back to center, center yourself in the lane, and go. And that's it. Okay, so that was angle parking, and that was uh, and that was perpendicular parking. Okay, so we talked about exiting. Parking on a hill. Uh, we have a great video that goes along with this too for parking on a hill. Okay, so uh, some things to keep in mind. I'm just going to read this one. Make sure to turn your wheels in the correct direction to ensure that the vehicle will not roll into traffic. This is the most important part about parking on a hill. Okay, if you have a curb, if you have a hill and you have a curb, and we have these, towns have hills in them, for example. Uh, sometimes when we go to a park, we have hills and they have curbs, okay? If you're facing downhill, right? So we're going to be in the right-hand lane. We're going to be parked on the side. We're talking about parking on the side of the road here, okay? So it's like a parallel park. Um, and it's basically, what do we want to do with our wheels at the end of a parallel of parallel parking here, okay? If you're facing downhill, you need to crank your wheels. Turn your front wheels toward the curb. Okay, and you actually bring your car forward until it touches and you feel it, your front right tire touch the curb. And it's going to be used as a block. Okay, now I'm going to reverse that whole situation. So now imagine parallel parking up, going up a hill, facing up a hill. Okay, we're going to do the opposite with our front wheels. So we turned into the curb. When we uh, were parking downhill, this time we're going to turn our wheels. We're going to crank them again. We crank them both times, but we're going to crank them facing away. So we're going to crank them to the left. Okay. And then we're going to reverse our car until your front right wheel again touches the curb and you're going to use it as a block. Okay. So that's when we have a curb. Now, here's when we don't have a curb. Okay, facing uphill or downhill with no curb, turn your tires to the right so your vehicle will roll off the road and not into traffic. Okay, no curb, turn to the right. Always make sure your vehicle is in park if it is an automatic. Yep, so it has to be, it should be in first gear if it's manual transmission. Okay, and use your parking brake. Uh, for extra safety, especially if, it, if it's a manual stick shift, you must use your parking brake. Engage it. If it's automatic, like most of our cars are, you don't, you don't, you don't really don't need to use your parking brake. You've got this block right here with a curb. If there is no curb and you really there's a lot of stuff in your car, maybe you should use your parking brake too. And even if you have an automatic. Okay, and. Uh, we are going to uh, skip the session review. That's something we'll only cover right in the class itself. Okay. You can take a quick look. You can pause it if you need to.
And that is today's lesson. Have a great rest of your day.